Hey guys, welcome back, it's Maverick here today with another episode of Shikimori-san. So last episode, we had a little bit of a hiatus, you know, due to COVID and all that. No big problem, I believe there's still going to be another one in the future, but uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. So anyways, episode 7, right? This is the second half of the season, so I am hoping, I am hoping that we get an arc that is cross episodes right like a multi-episode arc or at least something that's sort of like continuation between uh between different episodes because uh, this sort of like very formulaic nature is getting quite repetitive right i mean obviously i'm enjoying it i enjoy the reactions i enjoy the comedy i enjoy the um you know the, the little cute comedy uh the little cute romance that's sort of kind of developing between Izumi and Shikimori, but I do want to see more, right? I just don't, I don't want to keep on seeing a situation where they get into a situation, um, then Izumi tries to show off, fails, Shikimori steps in, shows off, and then, you know, we have a kyun moment, right? I, I, I love that, but I wanted to go deeper. Last episode was quite nice, right? Because we got to see Izumi show off his good side as well. You know, we know he's kind-hearted and all that, but I think last episode he really stepped things up uh, in terms of being the boyfriend for Shikimori. And obviously, I want to learn more about their backstory, how they got together, and, you know, all the, uh, all the twists and turns that that entails. So, in any ways, uh, in any case, let's get into this particular episode. Alright, let's begin in three, two, one, play. Alright. And just like that, summer is over. Hmm? Oh, okay. Cultural festival? Alright. Wow. Yeah, I do. Ah, that is uh quite the uh quite the nice timing, right? Our other big rom com of the season, Kaguya sama is uh is also getting into its culture festival arc. Ooh, decoration? Alright. I thought they were gonna be making a play or something. Ouch. That, was that how you guys got together? Dude, she's your girlfriend, isn't he? It's not like you're still trying to... It's not like you're still trying to, to flirt with her. And, <laughs> and I guess, yeah, it's like they're both... I mean, Shikimori is definitely the jealous type, right? Like I said, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's cute, right? I get it. It's cute. This sort of like pure innocent love, but you know, they are already a couple. Although I guess you see, this is this is this is my theory, right? I think it's just the, directly because of the fact that when they're together, it doesn't really, like, they don't really do too many couple things. Let me share, going out on dates and whatnot, that's, that's fine and all that. But the way that they talk to each other and, and all that, I just, you know, you could say that they are just uh, in the sort of like, um, sort of like the awkward stage of above friends, but not quite uh, an actual couple. And I would have totally believed that, totally believed that as well. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that because they don't, uh, their their sort of interaction isn't really adding to their confidence. 
regarding to how they treat each other is what I'm saying here. So that's also part of the. I feel like that's also part of the reason why you know, Shinji Morris gets so jealous, and Izumi, of course, he gets jealous as well. Though his jealousy is, is a little bit different, right? And not not quite as possessive kind of jealous. Oh, already. Like seriously, you could have said that Shikimori and Izumi are like childhood friends or whatnot, and it would have totally worked as well. Forty-four. <laughs> yeah. Like a random pairing. Of some sort. Animal Cafe, eh? Yeah, we like yeah. A light around. Oh my god. Real talk though. I feel like Izumi is really suited to rabbit ears. Am I the only one? I, I feel like. Oh, actually, is it because of the opening? Now that I think about it, there is an Alice in Wonderland kind of thing, right? Is that why I have this image within me of Izumi wearing rabbit ears? Oh, oh, oh. And Shikimori. Yeah, like sort of reverse situation. I mean, it's not like he's slacking off. <laughs> Somebody has to do what he's doing.
I mean, it's not like you're... Alright, anyways, hold that thought. Is this important? Yeah, there's a certain history between these two and Shikimori, right? Although I don't quite un like know which side it is from. Volunteer? I wonder if there's some history there. Ooh, flashback scene. All right. So despite being such a sporty and athletic girl, Kamiya is actually part of the library committee. Like, it's not only for this particular cultural festival, but it seems that she's just... You know, she's, she just works here regularly. Everyone's like, you're cool. Oh. Could this be unrequited love? I don't really think there's... You guys just... you guys just... Alright. <laughs> or is it maybe like... a switch? Right. Like maybe she, what she likes is Shikimori. That's also a possibility. But good job, because I've been trying to ask that for a long time as well.
Coño. <risa> Let me guess, and then Shikimura is going to come in here, and... Oh, but if... Sh hmm... It's hard to say, right? Hard to say. Couple numbers. Ah, oh, there's 44. Uh, where is she? So what happened last year? Were you two together? Well, thank you for explaining, Hachimitsu. Ah, that's how she, yeah, that's how she, um, is in. And let me guess, it's going to be Kamiya? In all seriousness, though, I do want to know. Yeah. Talk about luck of the draw. Yeah, I was like, how how did you get this lucky draw? <laughs> These two. Ugh. How uh, how innocent are you guys gonna be? His mission. Oh. I mean that doesn't really matter, doesn't it? If you if you already post it on the on the bulletin board, like who cares? Just take a look at it and and say <laughs> It doesn't even matter. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, I can get it if it's just, if they don't announce it, right? And it's, you know, you you have to go around and, and, you know, ask people, like, what their number is. And that actually adds to the hurdle a lot as well, right? But if it's just released on a bulletin board, then anybody can just go around and say, Oh, I'm paired with that guy, or I'm paired with that girl. And then... <laughs> Yeah! 
Así. It doesn't really make sense why you need to have the <laughs> That's like the most stupidest rule ever. <laughs> uh, let me just write it for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like I said, that's the stupidest rule. Oh my god. But uh, anyways. No, if you actually fought this through, there wouldn't have to be this sort of situation in the first place. Look at how- oh my god, these two. <sighs> Okay, the story of how these two got together was much more normal than I was expecting, but... Oh wait, she was the one who confessed? <laughs> oh, my God, she came more me. Oh no, no, I think... Yeah, she just gave him a push. No, you can literally get through all of that in like 15 minutes. Kamiya, of course. Yeah, actually all things considered... Well, actually let me talk about that after this. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Ooh, some drama! Uh, but, you know, seriously, all things considered, though, like, uh, I, I do feel like even though the, the anime is trying to, you know, be sort of, like, ambiguous about the situation, I do get the feeling that Kamiya likes, uh, likes Izumi and not Shikimori. I mean, after all, she was the one, like, they had their interactions together, right? And, um, I think what confirmed it to me was the fact that Izumi was thinking to himself, could it be that Kamiya, uh, likes Shikimori, right? Because typically when, when one of the main characters asks something like that, it's always the opposite direction, right? So, um, yeah, that's, that's the feeling I'm, I'm getting, and then, especially at the very end here with her actually having number 44, I do get this kind of feeling that that is how the situation came to be. And I guess it kind of makes sense, right? Because Kamiya, in a way, is like Shikimori as well, except, you know, without the, the sort of, like, cute factor. Uh, but, you know, more of a cool and, and collected. But, hey, she has her quiet side as well. Like, she's not just a pure athletic person like, um, uh, like some of the other characters, right? She, I mean, I... I was honestly shocked that she was on the library committee, right? even though she she acts cool and calm and collected normally. Still, you it wouldn't really be something that you expect from her, uh, both being good at athletics and also being part of the library committee and you know having to have her shifts around there in the library and and whatnot. So. I mean, yeah, interesting development here, guys. Obviously, nothing is going to come too much out of it. Like, if this was a rom-com uh, 
where, uh, as I said, Shikimori and Izumi were not together yet, then maybe uh, there would be this kind of possibility. Like, even though we all know at the very end who was going to end up with who, we still gotta, like, dance around the situation a little bit, right? But for this one, no. I don't think anybody is anything is really gonna come out of it and whatnot. Uh, in fact, if I were to venture a guess, probably some situation would arise in the next episode or, or episodes where... Um, Shikimori once again saves Izumi in, in some sort of situation, and, and who knows, maybe Izumi would reciprocate the, the saving as well, right? Uh, getting getting Shikimori out of some situation, Kamiya would look at it and say, yeah, these two are meant for each other, I can't really fight with, I really can't fight against this, and, and just leave it at that, right? And heck, it could also be a situation where nothing, like, nothing is ever revealed, and, and you know, she simply just eats it, and, and you know, blesses them right um but yeah uh it, it was nice to kind of see right that uh in regards to how shikimori and izumi got together i've been wanting to see this for so long so thank you kamiya uh and to be honest it was quite um it was quite normal all things considered but 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 i do feel like probably the first time when Shikimori and Izumi met, or, or you know, what sparked the trigger for, for Shikimori to to eventually have feelings for, for Izumi and whatnot. Um, that is probably um, another big backstory that we need to go through, right? Uh, not only this confession scene and, and going out scene. And actually, so all things considered, like if they were, if they actually started dating after the cultural festival in their first year, that basically means that they've already been dating for more than a year already. Like, seriously, how can you guys still act like this around each other? Oh my god. Uh, that's, uh, like, it's one thing to, to look at them being all cute and innocent and, and, you know, bashful around each other, but you guys have been dating for a year. Like, I was under the impression, right? I was under the impression that maybe they started dating each other over the summer break or... or uh, sorry, not over the summer break, over the spring break or something like that. Um, so when we saw the, the anime begin in episode one, right, this was the start of a new school year, right? Like maybe they only became a couple, uh, a few, a couple of months or, or heck, maybe a few weeks before. But as it stands right now, unless I'm misunderstanding something and, and uh, things, and you know, uh, a lot of time passed after the culture festival before Izumi eventually confessed, then they've been dating for like a year now. And this is still how they treat each other? <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like I said at the like I said at the beginning, right? Uh, you can clearly see them being being jealous or or being insecure uh, when the other side is going off to do something uh, without them, right? And and sure, it's cute and all, but on the other hand, like I I generally don't really view them as a couple at this point right it, it feels to me much more like this is a situation like again kind of those rom-com situations where they clearly have feelings for each other but they haven't really confessed and, and confirmed their relationship yet it, it feels much more like that kind of a uh that kind of situation here right like the, the sort of even though they're close there's still like a certain distance between them like it even shows in the way that that they uh how can I put this? Like, like, sure, they they have sometimes hugged before. They have sometimes held hands before, but it's rare and few between, right? It, when we look at them walking, like most of the time, they're just walking side by side, and and that's basically it. Even when they are on dates and and whatnot, that's that's based generally how they they do things. And so, to me, looking at this, like honestly, considering all the rom coms that that I've seen, and I'm sure that you guys have all seen as well. There's probably been more cases of like just pure childhood friends or or you know those that are still in this sort of um in, in this sort of um sort of limbo territory that have acted much more closer to a couple than than or much more like a couple than these two are currently acting and I just feel like they're uh, I just feel like they're they're probably their insecurities also stem from the fact that they're not really. I hate to sound so so shallow and whatnot, but but I do feel like if they were a little bit more lovey-dovey to each other, if they were a little bit more, uh, you know, not so uptight and and instead, uh, you know, more coupley-like towards each other, 
probably would also do a lot to to um to sort of like lower their insecurities about the relationship as well right like for heaven's sake even at this point in time they're calling each other by their family name and son right like that is that is like what you call someone who you don't really have a relationship with right it, it just a pure acquaintance and whatnot shikimori san izumi san not exactly by their given name and and still adding san at the very end right like it's not even just a shikimori and and izumi like on one hand sure you could say that it's cute and and they're still treating each other with so much respect and and you know being so polite with each other it's cute in a way but but i don't know to me it just feels like they're they're close but but there's this, how can I say this? There's just, just like this barrier around them still that that's not really, that's not really helping them really, you know, be together. Uh, but but anyways, am I the only one who thinks this? Please let me know because it, it's it's definitely frustrating. Like to me, this would this is almost the same as if they are not together yet. That's that's the feeling that I'm getting from their relationship. Um, but yeah, anyways, that was, that was kind of sort of a rant, but it's just that uh, it's frustrating to me because these two are so cute together and uh, it, it just like, I just want to like, like, like mush them together and be like hug already, kiss already or, or something like that, right? Uh, oh man. Okay, I, I am getting way too worked up all, uh, over all of this, but um, yeah, anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this episode, right? Like, let me think, is there anything else? We want to add, I want to add culture fest. Oh, and also, like, the, the, I'm, I'm glad that they actually addressed, you know, my point in regards to the couple game. I was all, I was all like, look, if you guys are going to be displaying it already prominently throughout the entire school, what the freaking doesn't matter if you have that piece of paper or not, right? In fact, the people who are in charge of this so-called couple game should have a list of the of all 600 students and their numbers so they can instantly check if their numbers are paired. Like, this is the stupidest kind of, of situation here. So what happens if they actually, like, switch numbers or whatnot, like, like what Shikimori is, is proposing here? Or, or is that the case? Is, did they specifically make this game with this thinking in mind? And so they only look at the numbers rather than look at you know, what is actually uh, revealed. But if that were the case, then why review it in the first place? Just make it anonymous. Like, and and uh, to me, actually, that would, that would be much more entertaining and interesting as well. That would make it a real challenge, right? Like you literally get a number and you have no idea who the other person is and then you have to use these three days and, to go around and, and try to find, um, you know, your, your destined uh, partner and, and whatnot. See, to me, that would be, that would make much more sense as a sort of like a game or, or a sort of, um, you know, a, a sort of a, a gimmick within the, the cultural festival to play this kind of game. But if you're going to announce it anyways, like, ugh. But at least, right, at the very least, the anime does it, or, or the manga does address it by itself, and it also considers it to be ridiculous by itself, and so the situation was resolved. So, I guess in the end, it, it works. It's just that, ugh, this, like, I was, I was already ready to rip into it in this, in this uh, musings part if they did not address it. But, anyways, uh, rant over, like... <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, like, I enjoyed this episode, right? It's just that when, when I see some things, I'm just like, ah, ah. Anyways, anyways. So, thank you guys. Uh, I will see you guys next time as well. So, uh, I believe next episode is going to be as on schedule. And hey, actually, this is the first true multi-episode arc, isn't it? So, that's a good thing. We are starting out this second half in a good way. So, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and um, stay tuned.